So this is part three of our Sega draft. They finally released the last there 12 games that's going to be on the Sega Genesis Mini. They are Tetris, Darius, Road Rash 3, Strider, Virtua Fighter 2, Alyssa Dragoon, Kid Chameleon, Monster World 4, Eternal Champions, Columns, Dynamite Heady, and Late Crusader. Oh, what a list. It's pretty what good. I mean, this is, this is the anti-PlayStation classic because it's pretty much all fire. It's a good line. I like that. So we drafted this through, <laughs> and we as a team got... Ten and a half correct picks out of we forty. No, hold on. We got one. We, we got, got more than that. We got, got more than that. That was game. bad. That was bad. We got fourteen, fifteen, fifteen and a and a half. You got the franchise, picks. but not the game. You got a half point. Oh, okay. uh, we, we're still doing halves. Okay. Yeah. Max, you uh, you came in at the end. You finally got on the scoreboard. <laughs> uh, Virtual Fighter Two was your was your whole point, and you got a half a point because you picked the first Road Rash, not Road Rash Two. Didn't I pick Tetris? Or did somebody else pick that? Tetris. Nobody, nobody a, picked Tetris. A, nobody picked Tetris. A Japanese arcade port, and there's only like six copies in existence that we yeah. know about. Yeah. So that they threw it in there was kind of a kind of a big surprise. Yeah, I forgot. I actually didn't know that Marble Madness was on the Genesis because uh, I owned that for the Nintendo, and I thought it was a Nintendo property because I'd never seen it on anything else. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't realize when he when next picked that. I didn't realize it was over there either. Steve, you had four. Sonic Spinball, Kid Chameleon, Fantasy Star 4, and Super Fantasy Zone. That's Super, a solid, uh, solid pick Super Fantasy Zone was like a far out that there. Was a bit of a that was your yeah. last pick. That was that was my fantasy pick of like, I want to see that on there, but it definitely won't make it. And when I saw that, I was like, fuck y'all, I still win. Because that, <laughs> that was the, I should get bonus points for that shit. I think uh, I think you got robbed with Zombies Ate My Neighbor. There must be some kind of licensing issue that, that that game deserves to be on this collection. Yeah, that's a good game. I had five. Streets of Rage 2, Earthworm Jim, Vector Man, Wonder Boy in Monster World, and Alex Kidd in the Enchanted Castle. And drumroll, Jeff, you had four. Yep, we Came did. right in behind. Yeah, right. Yeah, I can't do numbers. We're good. Yeah. Ghouls and Ghosts, Strider, Golden Axe, and Castle of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse, which I did not think there was any chance in hell they were going to yeah. pull that license. Yeah, I went licensed and it made it in there. Yeah. Wait, I think. So what was the score? One and a half? Four. One and a half, four, five, four. Okay. So Jeff and I tied. Yeah. Yes. But uh, Super you guys Fantasy's tied for a second. Watch Mojo got first place over there. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> The, I think the, the moral of this is the Sega was really known for sports games, and I think that's the only thing they're light on. Um, I guess they're, that would, that's all licensing. You, is you realize how much of a licensing nightmare it would be to go get the NFLPA 93 to get yeah, their rosters oh for Joe Montana Sports Talk Football? Well, there, there were League hockey? Of, Come on. Yeah, they're, they're the Mutant League games, there were a bunch of the ones that only had the rights to one player, and the rest of the teams were made up. Did any <laughs> any Electronic Arts game? Eh, Road Rash, I guess. Yeah. They could have got beaten like hockey. Yeah. All the but, old stuff gets real complicated with what you can and can't do. All in all, I think it's a pretty solid lineup. And you know what I, it was, I'm though. not really a Sega kid, and I think I might actually buy this. The Puck Sucker Pukes probably wouldn't uh, license their likeness <laughs> for it. Probably. Those jerks. Any closing remarks on uh, the Sega Genesis Mini? If I didn't have them already in like 17 different forms, I'd probably get it. You're still going to buy it. No, no, I'm not going to buy it. What's the price tag? Uh, 80? 80, I think. What's Although the... in Japan, you can order a uh, mini Sega CD and a mini 32X to kind of make it a medium Sega Classic. It's can... purely just plastic. Are they going to have DLCs? Where no. you have to go and buy like a Sega CD that attaches to the side of it and a Sega 32X that jams in the top of it. Can I just say, Did you when literally they literally just hear what he said, he just no. said that. I was petting when... the cat, I wasn't paying any attention. When they first released the uh, NES Classic, I thought it would have been cool if they made mini NES cards that are like a micro SD card that you could plug some more games into it in. Yeah. Uh, but you know, you know how Nintendo likes to just like. I'm sure, I'm sure they thought. Thing. I'm sure they do thought. It. Oh, this we can't do that. They'll hack it then. Well, <laughs> yeah. jokes on them. But like, you couldn't picture mini NES boxes in That'd like Target awesome. and Walmart. That'd be fucking sweet. The thing uh, is, if they released a like little tiny Nintendo system, and then actually sold the little tiny games on like mm -hmm. little five dollar things, yeah. I would buy the shit out of those. Yeah, do like a five ten game collection for ten fifteen bucks. No, one game per. Just stick yeah, it in one there. Game per. Yeah, <laughs> man. Lose these. 
you Hell, know what? you put, put it, it in a gumball machine you could put like a dollar in and and it comes out and make yeah, a billion a claw dollars. machine you have to spend twenty dollars just to get one no make I almost it extra, want a thing in a claw machine yesterday. make it extra addictive and do those blind boxes where there's like three random games and you have to buy like 40 of these things and you're gonna have like seven Dude. copies of zelda but we're, we're you can make, get zelda in like so a much, gold cart so much money for nintendo but that's all the time we have this week. Uh, if you like what you saw and you care to stop back next week, same time, 8 o'clock Eastern time, twitch.tv slash game night now. Uh, the second video will be over on YouTube, uh, and the whole recording of the podcast will be on every podcast service known to man. Jeff, they can catch you streaming Tuesdays and Fridays on Twitch. Except this week, it's Saturday and Sunday, doing an extra stream again this week. Twitch.tv slash flippin' sweet. He very well might have his affiliation by then, so go over ahead and drop a couple bits on him. He sure would appreciate I that. I just got the notification. Mex, you stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 1 p.m. I'm going to get good at this. 1 p.m. and Saturday, Sunday, 10 a.m. right here on twitch.tv slash game right now. Steve, got anything you want to plug? No. Mayan? <laughs> G Fuel. Get your get your G fuel. Stamps.com. We'll see you next week. <laughs>